Hi, the SI Meteorologist. Paul Dorian here on Wednesday, July 16th with an update on Solar Cycle 24. Solar Cycle 24 began more than five years ago and it continues to rank as one of the weakest solar cycles in many, many decades, perhaps even in over 100 years. It is currently working its way through its solar maximum phase and frankly, this solar maximum phase has been very unimpressive. This is the way the sun looked just 10 days ago on July 6th. Uh, uh, peppered with very large sunspot regions. It was quite active just 10 days ago. Again, numerous sunspot regions, but boy have things changed in the uh, recent few days. In fact, let's take a look at the very latest solar image. And here it is, the very latest solar image, virtually spotless. It's very hard for me to even tell where there is a sunspot right now. Officially, it's not being called completely blank, but it is awfully close and very well could be considered to be completely spotless in a day or two. Again, this continues a trend for a very weak solar cycle, very unimpressive uh, maximum phase for solar cycle 24. Now here's a look uh, with respect to the sunspot numbers, not only for this current solar cycle number 24, but the previous two. And it certainly shows quite well a, a weaker and weaker solar cycle trend here. Notice the peaks here, much higher back in 1990 associated with solar cycle 22. And then uh, the lower and lower or weaker and weaker solar cycle. Uh, the next one was solar cycle 23, which peaked around the year 2000 and here we are right now solar cycle uh, number 24 and it looks like there have been there has been a double peak which is not all that uncommon for solar cycle uh, maximum phases a double peak seen here uh, one a couple of years ago and this very recent just in the last few months perhaps a a, a double peak associated with this particular solar cycle uh, again, that is not too unusual. What is somewhat rare is that the second peak is actually a little bit higher in terms of sunspot numbers than the first peak. But the main point I want to make here is notice the downward trend, the uh, trend for weaker and weaker solar cycles. There are even some that are forecasting that the next solar cycle, number 25, will be even weaker than this one. And that would continue this long-term trend, at least over the last 20 years or so, 20 to 25 years for weaker and weaker solar cycles. Again, this will turn out to be perhaps one of the weakest solar cycles in more than a century. And here's an even longer term uh, picture of the monthly average sunspot num numbers. Here we are, solar cycle 24 right now, perhaps reaching its solar maximum phase in a double peak fashion. Again, continuing a trend for weaker and weaker solar cycles. Some are predicting that the next solar a phase uh, solar cycle 25 will be even weaker than this one and it appears as if this particular solar cycle number 24 may be the weakest since solar cycle 14 which peaked back in 1906 we'll see how that evolves but the the bottom line here is the uh, trend for weaker and weaker solar cycles continues that is of course crucially important because there have been uh, many many periods in uh, relatively recent history where we've had weak weak solar cycles for decades on end and it has contributed to uh, global cooling to some uh, have a negative impact on global temperatures during periods such as the Dalton minimum or the Maunder minimum where solar cycle uh, phases that were weak for many, many decades seem to have a direct impact on global temperature. So again, the sun has gone nearly blank right in the middle of what is supposed to be the maximum phase for solar cycle 24. We'll continue to follow the involvement of solar cycle 24 here at the SIWeather.com over the next several months. That's it for now. For the SIWeather.com, I'm meteorologist Paul Dorian.